Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. We are playing some ESO and th at the moment they have the prologue for the next part of the Deadlands, like Eelong expansion, Gates of Oblivion, um, DLC thingy. Um, so we will, I wanted to do that. Um, as I said, I would do the next kind of um, prologue quest for it. So it's in the Crown Store prologue quest and apocalyptic situation so we will grab this and we have to s where are you where are you on the map oh she's in Gartwood um okay let's go there then uh, apparently the next part of the Deadlands the DLC thing is coming at the 1st of November so I will be I will be doing it as videos um, as I did like the previous part and I kind of thought that the first part the way it ended I was hoping for more but looking at the PTS of the Deadlands and the new area and stuff like that I think that is where we're going to get the more that I was expecting with the first part I can only yes. hope <laughs> That is where we will get the more. I mean, there's definitely a Deadlands area. Apparently as well, something that I didn't come across when I was roaming around. There are roaming bosses. Um, I, I think there is three of them. So that sounds interesting. So we'll have to come across those and check those out when it is out out. But yeah, first, um, first of November. I don't know when. I will try to get my videos up as close to the 1st of November as possible, but they probably won't be on the 1st of November because what maintenance do you think you'll make with that? all that good stuff. Uh, I will be doing the world bosses, probably the delves and the new daily quests as well. So anyway, let's get on with this prologue quest. So, you're the mortal adventurer the Dread Lady seeks. I assumed you'd be, well, taller. Still, my mistress knows best. I bring you a message from Lyrinth, the lovely and powerful Dramora. Hear the words her prophet speaks, and be enthralled. A message from a Dramora? What is it? The Dread Lady requires a mortal's perspective. She finds the situation merely curious, but says it has apocalyptic consequences for our plane of existence. Congratulations, mortal. She has chosen you. And she promises compensation if you survive. And you seem rather calm about delivering an apocalyptic message from a Dremor. Calm, I, I suppose. But I have faith in Lyrinth, and she seems to have faith in you. I'll mark the destination on your map. Plus, I secured transportation. The regal, sweet daffodil. Oh, and take this pendant. You'll need it when you get there. Oh, daffodil. All right, I'll let sweet daffodil take me to your dread lady. Sweet daffodil will whisk you directly to the location. Once there, you must get past the creatures that roam the place to find Lyran's hidden lair. The pendant will alert you when the time comes to use it. Then, just follow the trail of energy. Uh, how will the pendant reveal Lyrant's hidden lair? Isn't it obvious? The pendant contains an epiphany blood ruby. It tingles when it senses residual portal magic. Use it, and it will lead you to Lyrant's lair. How ironic. She chose you to assist her. Not her prophet, but you. A heathen adventurer. Yes! I am aware of your relationship with my mistress. It may not be as intimate as mine, but she does seem to have a certain fondness for you. Still, we must not use her name so casually. Enemies abound and mortals become skittish so easily. Ooh, Lyris is fond of me. Oh, not in any romantic or mortal interpretation of the word. Not even in the way a child is fond of a puppy or kitten. Dramora aren't like us. You must have realized that by now, but my mistress finds you interesting. <laughs> yes, that's the word. <laughs> A group of Dagonists known as the Order of the Waking Flame has been interfering in my mistress's activities of late. They are of no real concern to her, 
but I don't want to attract their attention. I suggest you take similar precautions. Okay, right. Let's get on this sweet, sweet daffodil. We could have used it like a different sort of mount, not one that we could have. Um, right. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's go! I thought I had on a different ring. Why are they just spawning? Come, come. Wait, no. What way to go? Portal. I see it. Why did she decide to do it in Dead Man's Drop in freaking Malvador? So strange. <laughs> Hello, the lots of bastions. <laughs> will move the blade. Oh no! Oh! Damn enchanted blade! I'll need to figure out how they were able to use it to trap me. But first, we need to talk. So many peoples. <laughs> ah, little mortal. Your timing is impeccable as always. Of course, if you had arrived just a few moments earlier, I might not have wound up with that damn blade stuck in my chest. Uh, what happened here, Lauren? Must I say it? That the Dramora you know and admire had a lapse in judgment? That she failed to take her surroundings into account when she opened her portal? Very well, little mortal. I erred. And the Waking Flame took advantage of the opportunity. The Waking Flame? The Order of the Waking Flame, to be precise. Fanatics devoted to Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric Prince of Destruction. Two of the cultists followed before the portal closed and surprised me, incapacitated me with that enchanted blade. Uh, were they trying to kill you? Quite the opposite. The blade carries a unique enchantment I've never encountered before. It paralyzed me. Gave them the time they needed to portal in others and ransack the place. Quickly, check my coffer. Make sure the velvet pouch is still safe. Uh, all this trouble for a velvet pouch. It's what the velvet pouch contains that matters. I'm still attempting to ascertain its purpose, but since the Dagonists want it, it must be important. My coffer rests on the nearby pedestal. Check on it while I examine this accursed blade. Uh, Rogatina said the situation was apocalyptic. Care to explain? Why do mortals insist on receiving every detail, no matter how insignificant or profound, before they accomplish the task at hand? <laughs> Apocalyptic. Just what you might imagine where the Daedric Prince of Destruction is concerned. Do you hear that guy in the background? <laughs> uh, does this have anything to do with what we found in the, uh, in the Red Petal Bastion? Remind me about the Prince of Destruction and the Waking Flame. Uh, we'll go with Red Petal Bastion. As a matter of fact, it does. The Velvet Pouch contains the relic I acquired for services rendered. Now go. Make sure the relic remains safe in its pouch. The Dagonists also sought it, so that's reason enough to want to keep it out of their hands. Okay. Right. I'm guessing it is no longer here. It's oh, wait, gone, it is. isn't it? Search the rest of my lair. Find the cultist I wounded before the blade brought me low. Okie dokie. Wait, yeah. I mean, we found the velvet pouch, but... Oblivion, take you! Thanks, Bastion. You weren't much help, but thanks. There are a lot of people here. I didn't think that this would be a 
like a prime time. I knew I delivered a killing blow. Surprised he made it this far before collapsing. Search the body and retrieve my stolen item. Why don't you search? Show so me what lazy. you found, mortal. Well, little mortal, did you recover the item that maggot stole from my coffer? Was it in one of his pockets, as I suspected? Uh, nope. All I found was this letter. Let me see that. Hmm. This letter names the maggot I killed. Devastator Rulin. And it mentions Greenshade. I wonder what they're doing in that miserable place. Hey, that's one of my hometowns. <laughs> uh, they seem to be after your item specifically. Indeed. My relic. When I learned that the cult wanted it, I decided to acquire it before they could. I covered my tracks, but apparently not well enough. Uh, tell me more about the relic. There isn't much to tell. I have yet to determine the relic's purpose or function. I was just preparing to study it when the cult invaded my lair. No matter. The letter tells us where to find the Dagonists. I'll open a portal. Portal me! Give me portal, give me- wait, everyone's disappeared. We are now on our- oh, wait, backpack. Always gotta search the backpacks. <laughs> I shall never get used to Nern's smell. Come, mortal. We have plans to discuss. So much greenery in animal life. How do you mortals stand it? Never mind. Rhetorical question. Let us go deal with the Dagonists and retrieve the relic they took from my lair. Hey, this place is pretty. <laughs> how do you find the... Uh, how do we find the Order of Awakening Flame? The note you discovered contains the answer. Where Umbridge creeps. It can only refer to one place in this region. Shadows Crawl. I have no doubt we'll find the Dagonists near there. Shadows Crawl sounds like a big place anyway to narrow down our search. The Dagonists use portal magic. I can smell its residue on the air. The pendant that Rogatina gave you. It can be used to follow traces of portal magic in the area. Oh, where should I start my search? Right here. Simply use the pendant and follow the trail of the residual magic. Then use it again once the trail turns cold. We must retrieve the relic they stole from me. I shall pursue my own investigation and meet you once we locate the cultists. As always, she does. <laughs> I mean, it's so pretty here. She's used to like ash and lava and death. Wait, don't go by. Oh, okay, I found the portal. No! Bastion, don't attack! That was Sheath your cool. weapons. The battle is won. Wait, it was right here. It was right here, was it not? Oh no, wait, it's over there. I'm gonna run around and ignore them as best I can. Wait, that wasn't it either? Oh, it must be over here. Aurora, how did she overcome the blade? Never mind that. Get in and I'll close the portal. Hey. I don't think so. A simple okay. spell will keep the portal open. Mortal, this way. Of course, of course. No, I I'm don't want to speak to Bastion. Do you like his outfit, by the way? <laughs> I expected Dagon's bootlickers to have grander accommodations than a simple cave. Look around and find my relic, mortal. Where are we? I assume this cave serves as a base for the waking flame. Not very impressive, truth be told. Come, let us find whatever hole those cultists use to store their valuables. I want the relic back in my possession before the next clan fear cause. Search the area. Leave no stone unturned. Let's I hear, hear voices real... up ahead. 
Pretty it must cave. be the cultists. Nice cave, nice cave. The Daedrists. No better than Daedrats hiding in the bowels of these caves. I like the swamp water. Is that weird? I like the swamp water. A little bit weird to say. Oh look, they spawned real quick. Respawn well, great. Dee 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 dee. But you're more. Coming here was a mistake, Liren. Oh, look at Bastion standing like right behind me. We didn't last very long at all. I've kind of made Bastion like a little tank. I think he might come in handy that way rather than extra damage. Huzzah! Huzzah! Search the camp and find my relic, little mortal. Huzzah! Ooh! Oh, we've seen some of those before. Curious drawings. Definitely mechanical. But what was that about transforming Daedra? Intriguing. Uh, yes, yes, this will work perfectly, perfectly by combining the ritual with various components of Daedric design. I believe we can use the callus to overcome the natural resistance of the Daedra in order to uh, transform them into something altogether new and different. Very exciting. Fighting, fighting, uh, sighting, writing. I cannot wait to see the device in operation. <laughs> wait, do I have to keep that up? Do I have to keep that image up? Well oh. done, Mortal. You found my relic. Give it to me. That little that little um, image is actually a uh, achievement furnishing that we can get. That's cool. Oh, the little um, like box thing that she was like before. Then when the Dramora attained uh, the portal key, I want it. Okay, send to retrieve it, but make it clear that the key is worth more than their lives. Without it, our plans could face a significant setback. Our time to get the catalyst up and running uh, grows short. Uh, once you have the key, just line up the symbols as I've diagrammed here. Oh, okay. Wait, where's the diagram? I uh, return to us soon, along with uh, Devastator. You may witness the next step of the catalyst. After that, we shall release disaster upon the mortal realm. So this, sisters, a letter that conveniently lays out the cult's plans, schematics for some strange device, and my relic. Not bad for a day's labor. These items tell me much about what the Daganists are up to. What does the letter signify? That this sister Seldina had the audacity to order the cultists to steal my relic. And she gave them the damn blade that incapacitated me. She calls the relic a portal key. Claims it leads to some sort of base in oblivion. A base in oblivion? Yes. From which they plan to unleash disasters upon your world. I suspect it has something to do with these schematics. A diagram for some sort of device they call the Cataclyst. It has some purpose regarding Daedric transformation. Intriguing. There's one in the Dread Cellar. There's the ones in the like portals, which are like the domes of like Blackwood. And then there is also another one inside a delve. So I was told. The battle mages and I have exchanged information. Details concerning the Cataclyst and its function were severely limited, however. Suffice it to say, I suspect the device plays into their plan to unleash disasters upon your realm. Ah, so now what? <laughs> okay, another portal. Do I need this out? I don't know if I need this out or not. And a portal over here. My minion had better have completed the preparations I assigned her. Mistress, the Adrer approaches. We got lucky, little mortal. The letter we found indicated that Sister Saldina wanted the portal key brought to her after the cultists recovered it. For whatever reason, that didn't happen. Perhaps they were waiting for Devastator Rulin to return. 
<laughs> Devastator ruler, and that's the cultist you managed to kill in your lair, right? Yes, and whose corpse now rests before us. He will serve my purpose as well, I think. Time enough for that later. For now, take this. I understand that your kind expects such treats after performing clever tricks for your betters. I really wish they would give us like more gold. I mean, like a thousand per quest? Come on. Questions about the order of the waking flame still linger, little mortal. And the danger posed to your plane of existence hasn't abated. We can still help each other if you are willing. What do you need me to do? Before we make use of the portal key, we must complete our own preparations. Then we can find the cult's base in Oblivion and determine their plans for the Cataclyst. You must acquire the root of a fluster fume plant and a tincture of befuddlement. Uh, why do we need roots and a tincture? The relic opens a portal to Oblivion, most likely the Deadlands. Regardless, we can't just stroll in and expect them to reveal their plans. I'll use those items to create a potion to fool them. It will make you appear to be the corpse lying here. Oh, nice. All right, I'll get the um, root and the tincture for you. Fluster fume plants grow nearby, southeast in the caves of Camp Gushnikbar. As for the tincture of befuddlement, I believe Orion the Alchemist may have one at the outpost south of Bramble Beach. Return here when you have acquired both. Okay, great. I bet we're gonna have to pay. Right? We're, we're gonna have to pay. Oh, it's not that far. We can ride. We can ride there. Yeah. And then I don't actually know where the other one is. Yeah. Yeah. The tincture is ready. But are you sure you want to deal with that woman? That woman is very powerful, and I've enjoyed my discussions with her. What did she call herself? A prophet. So, what brings you to our little outpost, Traveler? If you're looking for something specific, I must warn you that my alchemical stocks are severely limited at this point in time. Uh, I was told you might have a tincture of uh, befondlement for purchase. Ah, you must be another one of the Dread Lady's followers. I've had a number of pleasant conversations with her prophet, Rogatina, and I even got to meet the Dread Lady once. She mentioned she might have need of such a tincture, so I brewed one up. Uh, Limit sent me to acquire the tincture. No disrespect intended, but I was hoping she'd come to pick it up herself. I so looked forward to basking in her glorious presence again. Ah well, perhaps next time. Here you go, and don't bother about the cost. It's a gift for the Dread Lady. Great! Thank you! I didn't want to pay for it anyway. <laughs> okay, where are we going next? Um, okay, over here. I like these guys, they're like nice now. Oh, these guys are. <laughs> That's got it. Oh, this is like a cool little like plant. Is that gonna be a furnishing? Oh, we just needed the one. Oh, and now the others have disappeared. Okay. Just in time, little mortal. Place the root and the tincture in the cauldron. I don't really want to drink it. The root you found was a perfect specimen, and the tincture just the right shade of distraction. The potion should work perfectly now. I assume there's more to your plan than just a potion of a disguise. Of course. Wheels within wheels and all that. After you drink the potion and disguise yourself as a waking flame cultist, I will pretend to be your prisoner. Not only are you returning with the portal key, you're bringing them a gift. Me. Oh, remind me who am I impersonating again. We know it's the guy. Oh crap, Sister no, no, no. Ah, I missed it. Okay, I'm so sorry. That was a complete accident. Um.
perfect, right? Now we look like this. Now the we look like this. Is perfect. If you say so. Look at us. He takes on our personality, now, which is great. I shall <laughs> activate the portal key. There. Step through and assume your role. I shall do the same. Should we put like a little, like a, a proper like creepy? Oh no, he only takes it. Definitely a not learn. Let's look around. Okay. I was hoping we could put another personality on that would like more resemble a creepy cult leader. It's very pretty in here. I love these vines. I'm so glad that they're a furnishing. I put a fair few in my new build. I just still need to put the finishing touches up. This is far away. Oh, he's pretty. Interesting. We must find the Daganists and determine what they're doing here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, so pretty. Speak to me, Lyran, please. This obscure corner of Oblivion is known only as Fargrave. I certainly didn't expect the portal key to lead us here. Fargrave had never heard of the place. I wouldn't have expected you to. The inhabitants prefer their privacy. It's a realm without a prince, which gives them a modicum of freedom. And it's a crossroads of sorts. A way station between Nern and the rest of Oblivion. Oh, nice. A way station? Once you find your way to Fargrave, the paths through Oblivion become easier to navigate. Daedra and <laughs> mortals alike can be found here, engaging in trade on a planar level. I begin to grasp why the Waking Flame have set up operations here. Uh, what do you mean? With no prince, the accords that make it harder for other realms to connect to Nern do not apply. Once they learn the way, with relics such as the Portal Key, the Waking Flame can move through Fargrave with impunity to reach Nirn and the Deadlands. Why do you think they need easy access between the two? Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Not for any reason that won't give you nightmares, little mortal. Now, let's find the cultists so you can present your prisoner. Then we shall learn what we can about the cult's plans and the true purpose of the Cataclyst. Great, 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 great stuff. Let's go! I wish I was actually my character. Look, this is so cool. I mean, the sky is freaking beautiful. I think that that is um, what the... Uh, oh, what do you call it? Oh, look, she's actually in chains. The new crates Devastator are. Rulin, is that you? We fear the Dramora killed you, and who's that beside you? Is that Lyrinth the Dramora? I'm impressed, Devastator. I didn't imagine your mission would yield such notable results. I assume the Order would appreciate a gift of this uh, magnitude? Indeed! And the Fargrave Cataclysm could use a new Daedric entity. For the next test, of course. I'll let you present her to Sister Seldina personally. Uh, where will I find Sister Seldina? Right through that door. I'm sure Sister Seldina will want to hear all about your mission. And we've yet to attempt to use the Cataclyst on a Daedra of Lyran's caliber. I expect the results will be quite informative. Oh dear. Your cannon fodder. <laughs> oh my goodness, please go through the door. Are we going? Okay, right. It completely kicked me out with the whole, like, you can't log into server thing. And Bastion keeps spawning naked. It's really weird. <laughs> We're through the door now. And I have 999 plus ping. Oh, there we go. Right. It'll be good. Damn EU servers are, like... I seem to believe, like, the NA one's fine. And I always seem to have trouble on the EU ones, which is hilarious. Because it should be the one that I'm closest to. Right. Um, what are we doing? Find, uh, so we can speak to the coldest. Is that it? So, the mortal returns from its mission, and it brings a prisoner. How unexpected. And I assumed Lyrinth was more capable. 
I would never allow myself to be captured by one such as you. Still, Nockfroz may want to question her before the next test. Nockfroz? Is he someone important? <laughs> Does Sister Seldina not teach her devastators anything of import? Bolkina's Nockfroz is a favorite of Lord Dagon. Ooh. Sent here to ensure Seldina doesn't mangle the Cataclyst project. Such endeavors are too vital to leave completely in mortal hands. I thought Sister Seldina was in charge here. You're a mortal, but do you have to be so naive? Sister Seldina has her place, and she will keep it for as long as she proves worthy. When she no longer serves a meaningful purpose, Nokfroz will take action. Until then, step carefully, Devastator. I want a Daedra as a companion. They would make for some freaking great screenshots. Are you okay, Skeleton? Why are you a skeleton? I need to know more. I would rescue you, but I can't at the moment. I'm on a mission. After the failure at the Dread Cellar, your far grave captain. Devastator Rulin, you've returned. And with a prize, I see. Impressive. We thought for sure that the Dramora got the better of you and your team. I'm almost glad to see we were wrong. Seeing as I just returned, care to enlighten me on what's going on here at the base. Our forces are in place. Soon, Fargrave will belong to the Waking Flame. We will be able to operate openly and without concern. And Sister Seldina has made great strides in perfecting the Cataclyst. No thanks to Volcanaz Nakbras. Isn't Volcanaz Nakbras our ally? Um, what does any of this have to do with the four? Oh, the four ambitions. I wonder if we can do both of them. The weapons yeah. created by the Longhouse Emperors? I suppose they were created using the same techniques we've employed in the Cataclyst, but our device is far superior. Whereas the Ambitions are four extremely powerful weapons, we can create an army. So we know of three Ambitions, but we're still missing the last one. Ally, yes. Friend? Not so sure. Like others of his kind, he considers himself the better of mortals such as ourselves. And he barely tolerates that Sister Seldina is in charge of this operation. Sometimes I think he'd love to slaughter us all. He probably would. He definitely, definitely probably would. Right, someone else to speak to. Devastator, you honor me. How can a lowly acolyte serve you? Uh, I just returned, acolyte. What's happening here at the base? The Cataclyst Initiative proceeds apace. Sister Seldina continues to make adjustments and improvements with every version of the device. I understand we're about to witness a new demonstration. I can't wait to see it perform as intended. You know what the Catalyst does? Um, how does the Catalyst relate to our attempts to find the other four ambitions? Is this some sort of test, Devastator? The Cataclyst is our great work, our role in the larger purpose of the Order of the Waking Flame. We will use the device to bless Daedra with the power of living disasters, and then unleash them on Nern. Nice. The Ambitions? Another sect within the Order is dealing with that. Our mission is to perfect the Cataclysts, and prepare incarnates to release onto Nern. Daedra empowered with the energy of living disasters. The destruction will be glorious. There must be some connection. Well, as I understand it, both the Ambitions and the Cataclysts utilize the same magic and rituals. Lord Dagon never relies on a single path. Ours are just two of his plans for conquering Nern. Once the Cataclyst is perfected, we'll be rewarded. Uh, of course you will. You're probably all going to die. Um, okay, so we have to find... Oh, she's here. Hello? Devastator Rulin. I assume the blade did its job? Of course it did. How else could you capture Lyrinth the Dramora? 
She has been a thorn in our side for much too long. Well done. But what about the portal key? Were you able to recover it? The portal key and Lyranth for you, Sister Seldina. A remarkable achievement, Devastator. And fortunate as well. We're about to perform another test with the Fargrave Cataclyst. And Nokroz is hesitant to provide me with any more of his precious Daedra. Lyranth should do very nicely. The Fargrave Catalyst will perform admirably, I'm sure. I hope that's not skepticism or sarcasm I hear in your voice, Devastator. I get enough of that from Nokroz. Despite the setback at the Dread Cellar, I have every faith in the device. Soon we will unleash an army of living disasters upon Nern. Living disasters? Did your Doombringer tell you nothing? The Cataclyst enhances Daedra, transforms them into incarnates of disasters. First, we take control of this pitiful demiplane. Then, we launch our assault using Fargrave's connections to Nern. A worthy plan, Sister Seldina. Worthy? It is brilliant. Sentries, take the Dramora and place her in the Cataclyst. Devastator, enter the Cataclyst chamber when you're ready. Then the demonstration will begin. Great! Bye, Lyrinth! My goodness, my ping! My ping, my ping, my ping. Norman looks like just about a hundred or under. It's being really bad at the moment through this. Okie dokie. Come, Devastator Ruling. For your excellent service to the Order, I award <gasps> you with the privilege of activating the Fargrave Cataclyst. Touch the room and witness the transformative power of the Cataclyst. Wow, who's Lord this? Dagon's blessing will turn Lyrinth into disaster incarnate. Is it one of Do these what guys? must flee. Lyrinth is ready. Okay, Lyrinth. I don't know if I want this to be like my mask. Oh, can we turn back into my character? I don't know if I want this to be my thumbnail or what. So she turns into one of those. Ooh, this gum get juicy. Have I have look. seen enough. I will be free. The Gamora damaged the Cataclyst. Duke of Fire, destroy them. Oh. Shut it down! We must preserve the Cataclyst! Deal with the Havocrel, mortal. I'll open a portal back to Nerd. Yay! We're back as a character! I gotta want to turn Careful. off the I'm not sure what we're up against here. Oh, he cool. I want a companion like that. <laughs> you have no power here! You will be destroyed for your audacity! Did he die? This device is lost, Seldina. Another thing, you and your order. Ha ha! Can I not keep it? Nope, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Where do we go? That was cool. The energy emanating from the Cataclyst is interfering with my magic. We must find a place where I can open a portal. I, why am I paying my pain? I can always tell even without looking at it because everything just seems so slow. Did the other guys just like really run away? I think the other one just ran. This is a pretty place though. Oh, look at this dude. Hey, you're a bastard. Go. Oh, damn, he did good. He did good. <laughs> he killed him all on his own. This is far enough. I will open a portal out of this place. Great. Okay. I did swap weapon. But okay. <laughs> Into the portal before more cultists arrive. Mistress, you're injured. Nonsense. 
Merely a scratch. You did well, little mortal. Sister Saldina and her cultists never suspected a thing. And we returned richer than when we departed. Richer? You were almost turned into a monster by the cavalry. That was never going to happen. My bonds were illusory, and it was a simple enough task to free myself once you activated the Cataclyst. I observed long enough to grasp the workings of the machine. Then I made my escape. But what did we learn? We learned that Sister Saldina's faction of the cult has a base in Fargrave, and they plan to conquer that obscure plane of oblivion to use as some sort of staging ground for their nefarious machinations. But what did you learn about the Cataclyst? Uh, what does this have to do with four ambitions? The power surging through the device carries the tinge of Mayrune's Dagon. It seems it is designed to imbue a Daedra with the energy of a single disaster and transform it into an incarnate. They plan to unleash these horrors on Nern. Perhaps. Nakvraz seemed to think so. I bought us time to consider, to plan. Sister Saldina can make more of such devices, however. Eventually. But did you see? Nakvraz despises Saldina. Perhaps we can use that. Oh, I still don't understand why you're interested in all this. And you don't have to. Just know that the cult plans to unleash destruction on your world. Now, I must contemplate. The device, it can change Daedra. I must return to Fargrave. I will summon you when I learn more. Until then, you have my thanks. Okay. So many avenues to ponder. Sister Sildina and the Waking Flame. The Cataclysts. Valkanaz, Nakfraz, and Mehrun's Dagon's role in all this. I shall return to Fargrave and see what else I can learn. I'll call upon you when I need you, little mortal. Great. Okay, so we have finished. I really don't know what is going on with my ping at the moment. It didn't. It didn't even come up telling me that I had like received these things. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a masquerade ball um, type thing. I can't remember honestly what um, thing we had on her head. Oh, I think it was still a... It wasn't this one. Although that one's already cute. It was... This one here. Okay, great. So there is that. And we got an achievement for it. So that is the prologue done for the Deadlands. We saw in the PTS that the two new realms are like here and here. That we can go to. Which is really cool. Um, I don't know. I know it's kind of like really early to be like, oh, what are they going to do next? And it seems like when I first started to play this, um, obviously Somerset wasn't here. Um, elsewhere wasn't here. Neither was Southern Elsewhere. Obviously Black was So this was all like empty. So it seems like they are sort of slowly filling up the map. So also, like I said, the rest of the whole Gates of Oblivion um, DLC comes out on the 1st of November. I will be doing a series on the main quest. I will probably do the uh, do like a video on the two world bosses and maybe the delves as well and maybe the um, daily quests that we get. So other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit the like button, leave comments, don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, bye!